let's get something out of the way because anytime you talk about the moon, someone is going to bring it up. Did we actually land on the moon? It's one of the most famous conspiracy theories of all time. The story goes that when JFK declared we'd land on the moon by the end of the decade, we weren't actually ready. And instead of risking a failed mission, or worse, a live broadcast astronaut death, NASA faked it, with help, of course, from Stanley Kubrick. One of my favorite conspiracy docs called Room 237 makes the case that 2001 A Space Odyssey was supposedly a test run, and his film The Shining was his cryptic confession of guilt. Now, to be clear, I don't necessarily believe that, but it's fun to speculate about. And here's the thing. The persistence of that theory, that we didn't go, might be a kind of misdirection. Because while we're all busy arguing about whether the moon landing was real, we stopped asking the question that might actually matter more. What did we find when we got there? According to some, the moon landing conspiracy was seeded by the government itself, not to cover up that we didn't go, but to distract from what we found when we did. And if that's true, then maybe the weirdness doesn't start with the moon landing. Maybe the moon has been hiding something from us all along. You're going to want to follow for part three, because that's where we're going to start peeling back the layers. Because scientifically speaking, the moon shouldn't exist. And yet, 